Hello and welcome to AchieveTutor.com. In this video we'll be talking about how to import in a DWG file as well as we'll briefly show you how to convert your DWG two-dimensional lines into walls rather quickly using their <clears throat> CAD to walls method. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is import our DWG file. So I'm going to browse into where my DWG file is using their wizard. And it's important to note that you want to import the CAD blocks. You want to make sure all the layers are turned on, all the different layers in the CAD file. Click the next screen and do not choose a single layer to CAD. <clears throat> the reason why is if you choose this, then all those CAD layers that were checked will be under one simple uh, layer set, which is the CAD default. And it makes it very difficult to manipulate certain ones on or off if they're all set to one layer set. So I like to have Chief layer it by name. So I'll click Next, Next, and Finish. And in pops my CAD lines. Now again, this is CAD lines. If I go to a 3D view, there, there's nothing there to view. <clears throat> but if we zoom in, we can take a look at what's happened. If I double click on one of my wall layers, I can see my line tool set these walls to walls normal. If I double click on the door, I can see its doors. So in this case, if we were to zoom out and simply go to um, the active layer set of, say, the doors, define it, let's turn them off, we can turn off all the doors in the plan making it relatively easy. We couldn't do that if they had all merged onto one layer because the whole thing would go on and off. So let's go back to our defaults and our doors, our layer sets, excuse me, and turn them back on. And let me show you the next little trip trick we can do. <clears throat> and that is we can assign all these walls, doors, and windows to automatically generate and build using Chief Architect using this tool called CAD to Walls. So I click on that. I want to set my wall layer to whatever layer that CAD was. Now that CAD layer was, if I look through here, this one, walls underscore space normal. That's what that one was called, those CAD lines. The windows were set to the windows layer and the doors were set to the door layer. So go down here to doors. I'm going to assume that these are kind of thick walls. So I'm going to assume instead of making stucco four inch walls everywhere, make it more like stucco six and the interior four is fine. Once I click OK, it generates the whole model for me. At least the parts that it could get within an inch or so. Some of these thick walls it didn't understand because it was too thick, so it didn't know what to assign it to. The first thing you'd probably want to do is zoom out and correct any of these uh, circles that you see. We can kind of move the walls around, try to stretch them to where they don't have that connection problem. Let's zoom out. Let's see this one. Uh, that, try to get rid of the one that's causing the problem there, there we go, we'll come over here to this bad boy, fix that problem, and again, you're going to have to go through these all and fix them anyway, you know, because you want to get, <clears throat> make sure you get every wall correct, but once the CAD to walls has been performed, it's kind of a nice stepping ground because at least you have a lot of the walls drawn. So now you just waste the time of going through and fixing the doors and windows and the thicknesses of walls where you need to to get your model going. Well, I hope that helps in using CAD to walls as well as importing a DWG file. Talk to you guys later.